Hey makers this is Ruvin and in this episode I am going to talk about hierarchies in the Power BI so far with the different Power BI uh, tutorial series we talked about the different kind of date hierarchy where we are able to drill up drill down go to the next level into our visualization but what if sometimes you want to build up your own custom hierarchy for your Power BI report let's try to explore this concept in detail with the practical scenario also we will talk about in which scenario or in which cases this hierarchy concept is very useful for your data storytelling so without further delay let's get started again this is the 8th episode of this series and if you just wanted to watch out the previous episode the links are available in the description box and as always don't forget to follow me on my twitter and instagram so first of all let me just head over myself to my power bi report so this is the power bi report we built in our previous session now first of all let me talk about one interesting thing in the power bi and this is again the default mechanism of any power bi report let me just add one more page on on my report and let me just add one visualization on the page as a stack column chart over here now let me make this visualization bigger and let me just drag couple of columns over here on my x axis so let's say on the x axis i'm just dragging some column like country then i'm also wanted to show some sort of region and i also want to show some sort of district okay so i'm just adding three columns at this point on my x axis and now on y axis i just want to represent the revenue so i'm just dragging my revenue column on the y axis okay and this is how it basically look up like this okay now over here you can see that when you add this three levels of hierarchies over here by default it is showing you this kind of visualization for you now over here the very understable part is any visualization in power bi report will provide you couple of options on the top and these options are responsible for drill up drill down and go to the next level in the hierarchy so what is actually hierarchy hierarchy is nothing but a combination of uh, same type of or group by the data okay now over here when we added three levels of hierarchy and just added the revenue this is how my chart is representing my data let me just drill up from here and let me just go to one more level up over here so this is how the default uh, i mean at the very top level you can see we have country and you know by country it is showing me the different sales revenue over here for myself now let's say in the power bi report you want to go to the next level let's say at the time you just need to enable this drill down option so drill down option is showing as a down arrow like this okay so this option is nothing but drill down option all right now let me just turn on the drill down as soon as you turn on the drill down it will convert into this kind of black color background over here like this now what happen here is this is where you are turning on your drill down facility now when you turn on your drill down and now when you click on any hierarchy let's say one of the country i have here is australia i'm clicking on that as soon as you click on that it will go to the next level over here all right so here i have region so it just showing me the region data over here okay if i'm clicking on region again it is showing me the different district of that particular region over here okay let's say instead of region let me just add one city column in between okay and let me just remove the region from here okay now let me just go up from here okay and now let me just turn on the drill down again click on australia so what happen here is first of all it is showing me the different cities of australia and then when i click on any appropriate city it is just showing me its district over here okay so you can just make it the way you want sometimes let's say if you just want to make like okay country then state and then city or district let's say if you just wanted to have like this you can make it like this as well like now i'm making as country state and district so you just drag your columns in a fashion and now let's see if i'm clicking on australia you can see all the states of australia let's say one of the state is new south wales which is very popular in australia i'm clicking on that and you know it is just showing me the different district for the uh, that particular new south wales state okay if i just want to go up i will just use the drill up option over here 
ओके सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट ड्रिल अप एंड ड्रिल डाउन फंक्शनैलिटी इन टू पावर बी आई रिपोर्ट ओके एंड बेसिकली इट विल वर्क विथ दिस काइंड ऑफ स्मूथली इन टू हिरार्कीज एंड अगेन द वे वी आर एडिंग द कॉलम दिस इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द हिरार्कीज एज वेल ओके वी विल टॉक अबाउट लेट से समटाइम्स वी वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट अवर ओन कस्टम हिरार्की यू नो हाउ कैन वी क्रिएट दैट ऑल्सो लेट मी टॉक अबाउट वन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग ओवर हियर सो इफ यू रिकॉल माई प्रीवियस एपिसोड दैट वी टॉक अबाउट राइट इन दैट मेनी टाइम्स वी हैव डेट कॉलम राइट इन द प्रीवियस क्लास इट सेल्फ वी वी क्रिएटेड दिस डेट टेबल एंड यू नो डेट हैज दिस हिरार्की एवर वंडर्ड हाउ दिस डेट हिरार्की इज बींग क्रिएटेड डेट हिरार्की इज क्रिएटेड बाय पावर बी आई ऑटोमेटिकली वेन यू हैव एनी डेटा टाइप विद द टाइप ऑफ डेट बट समटाइम्स वी हैव अवर अदर डेटा टाइप लाइक string data type or something else at the time if we want to create our own custom hierarchy into similar fashion how can we do that we'll see that in a while okay now let me talk about few more interesting thing about at the visualization level we can see other two options over here one is this double arrow that we are seeing here and second is this kind of uh uh you know uh, option which is called as a expand down to one level in the hierarchy okay so let's talk about both of this thing in detail so first of all let's say for an example what if if you just click on this double arrow inside this power bi visualization and this is called as a go to the next level in the hierarchy so what is our hierarchy our hierarchy is country state and district now let's say if i'm clicking on simply this double arrow what will happen it will directly open up the state level over here okay and now if i click on again it will go to next level which is opening all the district over here okay so basically this option will go to the next level in the hierarchy if you want to go up just use drill up over here okay now let's say if you turn on drill down over here like this okay and you just reach to the state of the united states now if you click on next level then what happen is it will just show the district for that particular united states okay drill up and drill up okay so at any point of time in your visualization when you go to the next level directly without clicking or something you can simply click on this option okay now let's try out this particular option and this option is called as expand all down one level in hierarchy now what is that let's see when i click on this what will happen is it will go to the next level okay so what happen it is first of all it is showing you all the states over here because my next level is state and first level was the country and you can see first level information as well you can able to see over here you know so basically in the one line itself it will show you first of all at the very bottom your country on top of that you know for each country what are the state and it just differentiate with this kind of dotted line over here if you click on that again it will add another layer on the top and you know whenever you look at in the bigger picture you can always been able to see like okay this is your country this is your state and for every state you are having this district which is showing to you over here okay so this is like all the different options available for different type of drill down capability drill up drill down go to the next level in the hierarchy and uh, at lowest level of the data if you just wanted to go you can just go with one level down in the hierarchy okay now let's talk about the custom hierarchy so sometimes we have a need where we need to build up our own hierarchy and you know currently the way we have added is we just added three columns and it just created this kind of representation for you okay but what if i want to create some sort of hierarchy itself for myself so whenever i drag that hierarchy you know uh, with respect to whichever data point i just wanted to build up my visual i can easily able to create it out so how can i create that thing let's start that journey from scratch okay for that what i'm doing here is i'm simply going to my new page over here and first of all let me talk about the simple use case over here so over here i have one product table over here and in product i have different value like okay product then i do have category and then i have a segment what i want to do here is i want to create one group which is a combination of category uh segment and product 
okay and with respect to that i wanted to do the different measurements all right so i can create the product hierarchy okay and to create the hierarchy how can we start with simple right click on the column and there is an option available at that time called create hierarchy let's click on that as soon as you click on that it will create the hierarchy so you can see by default your category hierarchy is being created over here if you want to see this interface in a better shape the ideal way is click on the relationship view for yourself okay and at that time when you look at this relationship view by default you can see this property pen over here for this hierarchy now over here underneath this hierarchy if you want to add some additional column you can simply drag it over here or you can simply do into this fashion as well so let's say category first one i want to add then let's say you want to add segment into it so right click on the segment and add to hierarchy and you already see the hierarchy category hierarchy so just select that out and your second column also been added over there so now if you look at your category hierarchy this is how it looks like category and segment now inside that i want to drag one more column called product okay so you can simply drag the product column over here like this or you can also do one thing that okay select your hierarchy okay and here simply it will show all the columns over here so just add a product column and it will just add this column let's say if you just want to changing the sequencing of your hierarchy you can simply drag and drop like this okay let's say you want product on the top so you can make product on the top okay i just want to make category on the top segment at the center and product at the bottom okay and when you are done with the changes don't forget to click on this button apply label changes so i'm simply clicking on that button and it's done okay now next what i want to do here is let me go to my power bi and now let's see what we will able to achieve with that so now let me just add my category hierarchy over here okay and i'm just taking over here some sort of uh, bar chart over column chart over here okay and i just drag my category hierarchy over here and you see that similar like you know your date hierarchy when you add this category hierarchy by default it is adding all the columns category segment and product okay now what happen here is what if i'm dragging any other columns over here so now on y axis i want to add my revenue column so let me just measure the revenue by this thing okay and here i am you can see my hierarchy is completely ready and now you can see drill down option as well so when you drill down let's say if you just go to the urban category you can see the different segment underneath urban category and now if you just click on any appropriate one you can see the different product which are popular over there okay let me just go drill up drill up and this is where it looks like okay and even if you just want to go to next level this is how it looks like next level this is how it looks like okay so this is how you can simply create your own custom hierarchy for yourself over here in your power bi report okay now let me talk about one more interesting thing over here what is the best visualization to represent the hierarchical data okay so let me talk about that so in power bi we have one amazing visualization available called matrix visual in which you can represent the mat, uh, your hierarchy data in a tabular format so let me just add one of the matrix visual on my screen so i'm just adding this over here and let me just simply add my category hierarchy over here so i'm just adding it over here so this is how it looks like okay now let me add the revenue column against that so i'm just adding one revenue column over here and now revenue columns underneath value and this is what it is showing me as a revenue over here now let me just add my revenue column again because i wanted to show some sort of percentage against the grand total so i'm just dragging this column again over here and this time i'm just simply clicking on this arrow over here and clicking on show value as percentage of grand total so it means just showing me the contribution for each 
category by its overall total so out of overall total 79% is coming from uh, urban category okay now what this metric visualization is offering us as this kind of plus button over here so let's say if you just want to expand your any of the category you can see the detailing over here like this right even when you go this you will be see the products in the detailing right so this is cool i mean whenever we we have the tabular data and this is similar like you know in excel as well you are creating this kind of pivots you are creating this kind of matrix right similar kind of structure it is offering us into power bi as well okay now let's say if you just wanted to expand you know you don't want to click on every plus button one by one you can simply click on this so it will just expand into this fashion like this for you okay when you go to next it will just expand the another level if you drill up it will just close it out for yourself right so this is simply just making your life simpler with the matrix visualization so whenever you have this kind of hierarchy and wanted to show you into some sort of tabular structure data hierarchies is the right way i mean specifically hierarchy you can use it out and matrix is the right visualization to represent that data all right so that's the overall thing for hierarchy i just wanted to talk about so now if i summarize the overall uh, lecture of this particular hierarchies basically what is hierarchy so a hierarchy is a structured grouping column that defines the level of the data and it enables the users to drill down or drill up functionality like tables matrices charts etc some of the examples we already talked about sometimes you want to have date hierarchy or geography hierarchy or organizational hierarchy you can simply use it out into this particular fashion all right now finally that's what i wanted to talk about for the overall summary for this hierarchy now it's a quiz time you just need to answer your question in the comment section and at least this is the activity you need to do so at least i will know that how many of you actually following me up to this episode okay so let's talk about the quiz question now so number one quiz question in this series is what is hierarchy in the power bi is used for option a creating dex function option b structuring the visuals into drill down path option c storing the multiple data sets and option d formatting the data tables question 2 which of the following can be an example of date hierarchy option a day month year option b year month day option c month day year option d year quarter month day question 3 how do you create the new hierarchy in the power bi use a dex formula b right click on the canvas option c right click a field and select the new hierarchy and option d only available through power bi service okay just answer this question in the chat section okay next one in which visual hierarchy drill down is most commonly used option a card option b table option c matrix option d kpi which visualization is best to represent that thing okay question 5 what icons allows you to drill down in the hierarchy visual option a this option b this option c this option d this look at the screen and answer the correct section in the comment section at least i am uh, happy to hear from you how many of you are giving the correct answer even though you don't need to read the above comment at least by this you can check out your knowledge that you reached up to half part eighth part of this series right so you will at least gain that confidence at how many things you achieved so far with the power bi so just answer your things into the comment section so that's all i wanted to cover for today's class hope this video is helping you and valuing time If so hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel and don't forget to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram if you are looking for any paid training the links are available in the description box or check out my website for more details with this this is Thruvin signing off see you in the next video with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye